Hello, and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, exploring the world of fintechs. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Dara Okuju, CEO of MFS Africa, a domestic and cross-border digital payment startup. Dara, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Joy. So what are the big challenges to making cross-border payments uh, digital in Africa? The sheer size and mm. fragmentation of the market. Mm. Uh, you know, Africa is actually not a country. Mm. It is 54 independent states. Within each of them, about three or four mobile payment schemes, as we know them today. Um, and the first real challenge is to actually find a way to connect all mm. this uh, in a way that enables consumers in a place like Liberia to freely transact with someone in Zambia or someone in Benin to freely transact with someone in Kenya. Um, the second challenge is probably the time we live in, mm. uh, which is a time of you know terrorism, which put a lot of spotlight on cross-border payment mm. and dramatically increased the amount of regulation uh, that applies to that sector. Uh, unlike what we've achieved as an industry uh, in the domestic space where the principle of proportionality have been accepted across the board, uh, cross-border transaction does not get the same treatment. Mm. And it doesn't matter the amount, you have to comply with the full amount of regulation. So I say broadly, those are the two main challenges we face, the fragmentation of the market on one side and the increasing complexity of the regulation on the other. Okay, so how does MFS Africa, how do you address those challenges? You can see us as a network of networks. You know, the starting point in, in pretty much all our clients or partners, we call them, run a scheme that allow people domestically within the scheme to transact between themselves. Our job or where we start really is to start connecting those schemes to each other so that at the end, the consumers of each of the schemes can transact freely between themselves. So that's really what we do on a daily basis is to connect mobile payment schemes to each other. Uh, increasingly, we are also connecting them to, uh, I would say, incumbents, so mm -hmm. such as banks, uh, which in many ways have been running mobile payments, you know, at probably smaller scale than what we have seen with mobile money. But as time goes, the, the, the relevance of those schemes are becoming greater and greater for the existing network that we start with. So. I would say our job, what we do every day, is to connect schemes to each other to enable their users to transact freely between themselves. And I know you've just signed a partnership with EchoBank. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what that will entail? EchoBank is the leading Pan-African bank with presence in about 33 markets, uh, you know, serving over 20 million uh, users ac across Africa. And our partnership with them is the first uh, large initiative of interoperability between mobile schemes or mobile money in general on one side and mm -hmm. bank on the other side. What that means is start breaking up that barrier, barrier that you know, people usually or conventionally wisdom sees the mobile money as a disruptor of traditional banking. We like to think about it different ways. We see on both, at the end of both consumers or businesses who want to do business with each other and having get, uh, assemble a significant scale on the mobile money side, uh, the time was right for us uh, to enter the banking world. And I think the time was right for EcoBank as well mm. it, as part of their digital strategy that they're pushing really aggressively across Africa to realize that connection and to enable their customers, whether they're small businesses, large corporate or consumers, to transact freely across Africa with mobile money users uh, on the MFS hub. So that's really what, what the partnership is about. And for a lot of startups, working with incumbents comes with a number of challenges. Sort of what were the challenges for you? Uh, and then also, how did you solve those problems? Probably the biggest challenge has been about, you know, getting to some sort of common language, really mm. understand each other and, and agree on what good looks like, mm. you know, uh, c coming from very different perspective. But as we were doing this with the EcoBank team, one thing that we found uh, was the passion was the same. Uh, the willingness to transform lives was the same. That, uh, I would say, drive to mm. really make something different uh, was the same. And that helped a lot going through the challenges and different of difference in cultures. And I think you have to believe a little bit to do the things we do. Mm. And, and we found in EcoBank believers, mm. people who 
will look beyond the difficulties of today and say, you know, let's go up that mountain. And that has been very, very helpful in getting to where we are now with them. My last question mm. is really on what you think that the future payments ecosystem will look like in Africa. I don't know if it's what I think or what I want, you mm. know, but, but really for me, it goes back to, to the problem we're trying to solve, as I mentioned, you know. I, I have personally been on every side of cross-border payment. And, the most common cross border payment is, is remittances. Mm. You know, I'm from Benin and I've been on the receiving side of this and I've been on the sending side when mm. I was in France as a student and as a worker and so on. And I understand and I live through the frustration of this. And you know, the life of migrants in the last, I would say, 20 years got better. Mm -hmm. We can call easier. There was a time we have to make an appointment to call, you know, to tell mm. my parents to be at a certain place so I can call. That doesn't happen anymore. Everybody has a phone and we can call. We can send pictures, we can share emotion. Why can't we share money easily? Mm. And I like to see a world, Africa for sure, where having a phone should be enough to participate in the economy. And we have achieved so much on the communication side that I don't see why we can't achieve the same on the financial side. And that's what we like to see. Excellent, thank you so Thanks. much for your insights, Dara. Thank you.